Hello everyone, welcome to another tutorial video and today I want to attempt to teach you how to do a rain effect in your rooms. So yeah, without further ado, I say we get right into it. Of course, we gotta start off as always by getting out our maker pen. We're gonna do that by going to your watch, opening the backpack, and clicking on use on your maker pen. The maker pen will then spawn and you can open the palette by clicking on this right here. Now that we've got this, we'll be going to the options and we'll be changing the two facets to 3 or less than 10 because that will use less ink <laughs> and yeah, we'll be changing the tube size to 1 centimeter. Alright, if you got that done, we're gonna change, choose a good color and we could always use either shiny metal or neon. We're gonna use one gadget, and that's gonna be the animation gizmo. That's about all of the stuff we need from the palette, and yeah, we can get to creating. So right off the bat, I started with making an outline on my ground to indicate the area that the rain will drop in. You can of course make it as big as you like, but just keep in mind that it will take a lot of ink if you make the area really, really big. So if you want to make it like in front of a mirror, it's perfect, but if it's like for a bigger area, you should probably revert to emitters. I've made this small little square and yeah, we'll be making a copy of this in the air and that will indicate how high you can see the animation start. So I'll just be selecting them and then cloning them up. Alright, and then we'll be moving it up as far, far as we want. I'll just say it should start right there. Alright, and what you want to do for the droplets is you make like one small tube and then you will need to, or want to most probably, make like a stripe so it looks like a droplet. It's, it doesn't have to be too detailed, it should probably just be two facets and yeah, that, that's basically one droplet and we can clone this how, however many times we want and I'll be doing that. So yeah, let's go. Let's just clone a bunch. It, it can really be completely random. You could even like, to speed it up a little bit, you could select a bunch more and then just clone them like that. Make sure they're all on the same plane though and not yet vertically offset. It doesn't really look too random yet, but yeah, you could always change it if it looks a bit too uniform or to normal. I'm trying to make it uh, a little bit more natural looking. Alright, I've got this first layer for now. And I'm gonna change that area and yeah then I'll be cutting so for you it will be zero seconds but I'll just do it real quick. Alright, now that I've got that area done you can see we have one row of droplets. They all look kind of spiky, but yeah, that we'll get rid of that later. So uh, we won't actually, but <laughs> yeah, it will just look like they're falling basically. And yeah, what we're gonna do next is we're gonna go back to editing and then we're gonna select all of the droplets. We can do that by clicking on one and then just pressing select all that's a bit more simple. Alright, what we can do now is we can just clone up. It's really not that like important how how we clone them up. But yeah, just make sure they're going to end up perfectly up here too. So yeah, let's just do that. All right, there you go. So now, if we would animate it, it would just look super um, same and uniform because each droplet is like, it has one droplet right above it. And yeah, we, we're going to change that by randomly uh, deleting a bunch, but make sure that this layer right here, the first layer, doesn't get any deleted and the last one up here doesn't get any deleted too. So what you want to do is just de delete a bunch um, down here 
Not too much, but just like one or three from each like row. Alright, let's get to deleting. So, yeah, I'll show you how I do it in like a little time lapse. Alright, and that's the final pattern, and yeah, when you've got that, just uh, check it again. If you see like some that are like, oh yeah, I forgot this one right here. You see they're like all in a row, so I'll be deleting one there. Alright, and yeah, that's the whole pattern, and yeah, now what you want to do is you edit the shape again. And then you select all again. Then if you got that done, you're going to... Wait, let me just move the camera again. You're going to clone all of them and match up the last frame or the last um, layer with the underneath one. So it's like perfectly on, on top of each other. So... I'll show you again. Now you have this layer right here and the top and bottom layer match up right here. So this is where the other thing will start. And on top of here we have the other complete like pattern. And then down here you have the other pattern again. All right. <laughs> so now if you got that done, you're going to just wire this shape to the animation gizmo. I guess you could do that now. Oh yeah, I forgot. Um, if you perfectly aligned it with this, you're going to have two shapes in each droplet and you don't want that, so you're going to edit and just delete once on each droplet. Alright, I think that was all, actually, yep, that was all. Alright, so now you want to edit the animation gizmo and then add a keyframe by clicking right here. Then you want to move when you're on the next frame of the animation. You want to move all of them down so it perfectly matches up. I'm just gonna make it so it perfectly touches the ground. So you want to like match up one of the layers with the other one. So basically you see, if you go back right here, you see the full layer up here again. And if you go to the next one, it's going to match up with the upper layer again. So it will essentially be like perfectly the same uh, thing, just moving down constantly. So yeah, let's see it and look how it turned out. Alright, to get the full illusion you need to most likely um, just block this top layer thing off. <coughs> Alright, <laughs> and that's about it for this tutorial video. I hope it helped you, and I hope you liked it. So, yeah, see you guys in the next tutorial video, and goodbye.